Hi friends, very, very, very good evening all of you. Welcome back to CAP classes. So first of all, I thank you for joining this uh, live classes for advanced account. We do have both uh, live classes with recorded backup and also the recorded classes in Google Drive, Pendrive or, um, you know, in this uh, mobile application that supports both Android and iOS. So today, this is going to be our session one for new scheme advanced accounting, which is applicable from 2024 onwards. As you know, this time there is no transitional provision. There is no old and new simultaneously going on for one, two batches. ICI has decided that from 2024 May onwards, it is going to be only new scheme. There is nothing called old scheme now. So as all of you know, in new scheme, there are six papers. In that one is advanced accounting against, you know, as against the old scheme where we do have two papers for accounting. One is called accounting and one is called advanced accounting. Accounting is in group one, advanced accounting is in group two. They merged both of them. They removed so many topics. They included few standards and that has become group one, paper one, advanced accounting for new scheme students. So since we are starting afresh today, I want you to have a notebook ICI study material, if you have a printed copy, if you have ordered books, that is fine. But it is too early for you to have new syllabus textbooks. Probably, you know, the migration and all is still going on. So please apply and get physical textbooks from ICI for new scheme. If you have physical textbook, that is always good for you to read and revise, especially the problems which are lengthy. So a notebook, ICI study material, pen, pencil, calculator and scale. All these are mandatory things. Be formal. Don't be casual. Even if it is online class, even if your video is turned off, you are not looking at me. I am not looking at you. Or even if you are attending recorded classes where there is no one-to-one -one interaction, live interaction, whatever the situation is, be a humble, conservative student. So always be formal which will give you more seriousness and more diligence in your preparation. Okay. So with this, let us go and understand the syllabus first. Let us go and understand the syllabus first. So module one, there are four chapters. One is introduction to accounting. So open your first page of new notebook and put the heading. See ya inter. Paper one, advanced accounting in that syllabus. We'll start with serial number, chapter. Serial number one, two, three, four, and so on. There are, I think, uh, 14 or 15 chapters. Okay. So chapter one is introduction to accounting standards. Okay, I want you to write clearly. So one is introduction to accounting standards. Then chapter number two, framework for preparation and presentation of financial statements. Framework for preparation and presentation of financial statements. This is your chapter number two. Then comes chapter number three. Applicability of accounting standards. Applicability of accounting standards. Chapter number three. Applicability of accounting standards. Chapter number four. Presentation and disclosure based EAS. presentation and disclosure based AS. So here we'll also write one more column contents. So when it is presentation and disclosure based accounting standards, what are all the standards that come in this particular chapter? Probably next chapter could be asset based accounting standards, then liability based accounting standards, then uh, standards on presentation, standards that uh, uh, impact the items of balance sheet. So like that, there are so many categories. Okay, so we'll also write contents. This particular column will fill little later. 
this particular column will fill little later. Okay. Then let us go back to module number two. In module number two, fine. Assets based accounting standards. Asset based accounting standards like inventory, property, plant, and equipment. Then your intangible assets, accounting standard 26, then impairment, all these things will come here or investment property, all these things will come here. This is fifth chapter. Sixth chapter, liabilities based accounting standards. Sixth chapter, liabilities based accounting standards. So probably in liability based accounting standards, your accounting standard 29 might come, then accounting standard 15 might come. Okay, mm -hmm. then seven, accounting standards based on items impacting financial statements, based on items impacting financial statements. That is your seventh chapter. Items impacting financial statements, accounting standards based on items impacting financial statements. Then revenue-based accounting standards. So probably accounting standard nine, 9 will come, revenue recognition. And any idea, can anyone tell me, is there any other accounting standard relating to revenue? I have one more standard in my mind, but I just want to check with you. If anyone knows another accounting standard which deals with revenue recognition other than AS9, type it in the chat box. If you do not tell me, I will tell you it is accounting standard 7. Yes, Jiva, correct. Accounting standard 7. Excellent. So, revenue based accounting standards, chapter number 8. Chapter number 8, revenue based accounting standards. So, two standards will be there AS7 will be there, construction contracts. AS9 will be there, revenue recognition. Okay, AS9 deals with the three things like, for example, sale of goods, rendering of services, and then uh, if you give your resources to outsiders, when they are using your resources, they will give you a return on that resource. So that could be interest, that could be a royalty, or that could be a dividend. All these things we'll see in accounting standard nine. If you are a contractor who's engaged in constructions, how do we deal with recognition of revenue for construction contracts? How do we value the assets? All these things will come in accounting standard seven. Accounting standard seven deals with revenue recognition of construction contractors. Okay. So that is your eighth chapter. Nine other accounting standards. So this is a residuary bucket. Other accounting standards is a residuary bucket. That means if something is not falling in any of the other categories, it will fall here. Nine. Ten. Accounting standards for consolidated financial statements. Accounting standard for consolidated financial statements. Can anyone tell me what are the accounting standards that deal with consolidated accounting to consolidated financial statements? Can anyone tell me what are the standards under this umbrella? AS 21, 23, 27. There are three standards. Okay, so this is our chapter number 10. Then we go to chapter 11. Financial statements of companies. Chapter 11, financial statements of companies. Like your uh, schedule three requirements and all will be there. Okay, normally in financial statements of companies, ICI gives you two units. One is how do we prepare P&L balance sheet? That is one like schedule three requirements and the second category would be cash flow statement as per accounting standard three okay that also will be there then 12 buyback of securities buyback of securities this is a traditional topic based on provisions of law there is no accounting standard involved here in buyback of securities it is legal compliance it is not about accounting standards so guys, if you look at it for the first time in chapter 11 and 12, we have come across accounting other than accounting standards. Okay, then 13, amalgamation of companies. Again, this is also an accounting standard. Can someone tell me, can someone tell me what is the accounting standard that deals with amalgamation?
can someone tell me what is the accounting standard that deals with amalgamation hello guys i am asking you there is one accounting standard for amalgamation of companies it is as 14 it is as 14 okay then chapter number 14 is accounting for restructuring reconstruction of companies previously we used to call it internal reconstruction so 14 is accounting for reconstruction of companies so there can be so many different types of reconstructions that we'll see here then 15th one is accounting for branches including foreign branches accounting for branches including foreign branches this is your chapter number 15 this is your chapter number 15 so guys from this 15 chapters what did you understand so any any summary you know looking at the headings of this 15 chapters what did you understand the whole paper is predominantly everything is about accounting standards other than accounting standards there is nothing isn't it so there are you know there are just one two chapters which are from you can say traditional accounting conventional accounting that is this is one conventional accounting which is not based on accounting standards. This is one area which, you know, deals with provisions of law. There are no accounting standards here. Then this is also provisions of law. There is no account, uh, there is no accounting standard here. This is also one traditional area. Okay. So this is conventional. Again, foreign branches, if you have foreign branch, again, there is accounting standard level. That is a different story. Okay. So this is conventional. This is conventional. This is based on Companies Act. This is based on Companies Act. All the others are accounting standards, my dear friends. That means 15 minus 4. 11 chapters are accounting standards. Okay, now guys, tell me how many accounting standards do we have in total? How many accounting standards do we have in total? We have so many students. Can you please tell me in the chat box, Devika, Charmati, Heman, Jeeva, Srihari, Nitya, Kalyani, Trisha, Tisha, sorry, Yalini, Jeeva is saying 29. Okay, so there are 29 accounting standards. Do you think all the 29 are functioning now? All the 29 are in effect? No. Some of the accounting standards have been deleted. So probably, how many standards have been deleted? Can I say there are two standards which are deleted? How many standards have been deleted? Two standards. Okay. One is accounting standard 6. Previously, accounting standard 6 used to deal with the depreciation. Now we have included that in AS10 PPE. And also previously there is one more standard, accounting standard 8, which deals with research and development cost. Now we have included that in accounting standard 26, intangible assets. So AS 6 is deleted, AS 8 is deleted. So total 29 standards minus 2 is equal to 27. Okay, so basically this is the syllabus. This is the syllabus. Now, shall we start with introduction to accounting standards? Are you ready? If you are ready in the chat box, say yes. Then we'll start. Yes, sir. 